I am living for this mini Josie and the Pussycats reunion tonight. You guys, I can't believe we are partially getting some of the band back together. Back together, how does it feel? I love my Tara. I love antagonist Alexandra from Josie. And I love that Missy came out to play this part for us. She flew. All, I shouldn't reveal this, but we shot her part all the way in Vietnam. She said that. Yeah. I was like, thank God you got to go join in on the fun. Yes, completely. And she, good Lord, why do I put such an incredible scene stealer in, in the movie? Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> she says the same thing about you. She is such a gift. I, I can't, I could not be a bigger fan of that woman. I love though, like it, it brings back the nostalgia seeing you three together. Well, I know, I just, I think maybe we should think about this for a second. I mean, what do we have to do to have a revival of Josie and the Pussycats? I'm the last person who would know, but I do love that me that soundtrack. I think if we just put on the soundtrack, we can just let us let it take us back to that place, yeah. and maybe that can be enough. Really? Because Missy's down, Tara's down. It's such a cult classic. People go come up to me all the time and they're like, it's my favorite movie ever, Sarah. I think we just, the people need to cry for it. Oh, we both would be down for it. We could do that, absolutely. I'm also down. And you're down, so we got three. <laughs> we gotta make it happen. Du jour means make it happen. Du jour means make it happen, folks. Now you brought your sweet kiddos here tonight to support oh my mama. God. Okay, talk about show stoppers. Your son in a velvet number, I mean, he looked sharp. Okay, he picked out that jacket. I did have to talk him out of some uh, magician-style gloves that he had in a science kit. You know what? No, that was actually his call. He backed out of those at the last minute. But it would have been a look, for sure. What do the kids make of the bright lights of Hollywood and, and Mama's films? I mean, I think this is going to be the first movie of mine that I've actually said, kids, I need you to sit through this, and if you don't like it, you got to zip it, and you got to just stay there. you got to just <laughs> take it on the chin. And yeah, I gotta watch mom's, mom's silly pointy little face for an hour and a half and then we can go home. Listen, who could not love it? It was so good. It was like, it was 10 out of 10, superb. A plus, y'all killed it. I mean, between Vietnam, between the casting, I mean, it had everything. But you, I mean, you are the rom-com queen. What is it about these rom-coms that keeps you coming back? It's because I mean it. Like, I love them with my whole heart. I'm a fool for love. I don't know what else to say. We are, we all. What was it too about this film? I mean, shooting in Vietnam, to be the only film to shoot entirely in that country, I mean, how special was that? I still don't know how they just decided to trust us and, you know, to let us just run around their insanely beautiful country. I mean, I cannot say enough about the Vietnamese crew. Uh, we had department heads from Singapore, from Canada. We we're a truly international group, but the Vietnamese crew was the backbone of this film. And I do not know how our brilliant director, Steven Sushita, pulled this off. I am not gonna pretend that this movie was easy. It looks like we got paid to go on vacation, but it was not easy. And uh, yeah, he's, he's a miracle worker. I feel like a lot of people are gonna put Vietnam on their bucket list. Missy said she brought the whole fam. Did you bring the fam to Vietnam? I did bring the fam. <laughs> Like, come on, you guys, it's a quick flight. Just mom's, mom's gig's pretty cool. Oh my goodness, mom's gig is pretty cool. My mom came along, it was a family affair. And we were truly embraced by the people there. I can't say enough good things. And it's a family affair tonight between your, your family and then also your Josie and the Pussycats family. I mean, how overwhelmed are you with emotion? This is a lot, don't make me cry. Oh. I'm just kidding, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. We love a good tear on ET. Oh, trust me, if I have to go up there and say a few words, I'm going to give you full waterworks. I cannot even. Anybody got some tissue around here? <laughs> like you're joking, but like you're not. And I, Aww. it's going to be bad. I'm, I could not, I, I don't know how Netflix has now trusted me for the second time with such an incredible opportunity. It's There's a reason. There's a reason. Don't sell yourself short. Like I said, you are the rom-com queen. What is, what is next for you? I know you just signed a big deal, a producing gig. Like, I mean, what? You have done your homework. I'm very impressed. We love you, Eddie T. Thank you. So, look, what's up your sleeves? Uh, I'm very excited about this partnership that I've signed with Marvista Entertainment. We have a lot on the go. I'm about to start a Christmas movie that should be ready for this year. There's no reason we can't do it. Merry Christmas to us. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's called Rescuing Christmas. It's about someone who makes the dire mistake of wishing away Christmas and then has to somehow bring it back. 
And so we're doing that, and then I'm doing a very self-referential rom-com called There She Goes. That's about a kind of like a cynical actress who made a lot of rom-coms who has to plan her parents' anniversary with her ex-boyfriend from high school. Okay. And then and then a Josie and the Pussycats revival. <laughs> Obviously, and then that. At some point on your plate. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for your time. You.